Now we're gonna launch a rocket using the real jet fuel, guys. Made of liquid oxygen and kerosene. It's gonna be... Big baga boom! What's gonna happen today? Will our rocket fly or just blow up? Good morning, Anton. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm quite good. Zoe had an upset stomach. It's 7.42 am. And our Indian friends are working hard already. Anton? Is it fog? I think I know what it is. They started burning fires in the morning. A hellish smell. Start. Let's take a balloon. Okay, big, big balloon. Yes, big balloon. Now we're gonna fill it with oxygen gas. And then we're gonna freeze it with liquid nitrogen. And oxygen will become liquid. That's scary, I better go away. They are crazy. You crazy. No? No. <laughs> no comment. Okay. Okay, go. Azot. Take this. Two more balloons. Okay. Did he say second? They're crazy heads. Yes, yes, yes. They want a second balloon. That is not surprising actually, because we're gonna make a really big explosion. They wanna freeze four big balloons with oxygen. That's a hell, Anton. Only one thing explodes so hard. So what's gonna happen if you blow up four balloons? A nuclear explosion? Our Indian guys believe that this rocket will fly, somehow. That is risky. So are we making a bomb, aren't we? Well, let's go make it all liquid. We're gonna have two cups of oxygen. Really? Yeah, I don't believe you. But I'm sure. Let's go and get liquid nitrogen now. And some kerosene. Life is in full swing. We're gonna need a tripod stand. No problem. We're gonna feel something crazy. One balloon, it's gonna be, be a hell. We're pouring liquid nitrogen to condense the liquid oxygen in it. The process looks amazing, guys. It is all boiling and getting out. And we've got this mist. The freezing cold reaches our legs, yeah. Look at this now, it was a big balloon, but now the oxygen shrank, became liquid. Let's see how much of it is there. It is dripping. So how much of it is there? There's less than half of cup. I told you, it can be two cups of it. Is there snow on it? It is frozen so hard. Oh my gosh. Oxygen is a strong oxidizer, so it boosts the combustion. Oxygen versus fire. Look at this wet grass, it doesn't burn at all. But see what happens if we pour some oxygen. Oh my gosh. It is burning brightly. So fast, wow. It has high temperature, like welding, and it is so bright. Let's go! This rocket will be very powerful, so we need a remote detonator. From a cheap stun gun. And one battery, 18650, the brown one. There we go. We are moving the detonator at the safe distance. The balloons look scary. One of them has fallen, I hope it's okay. So this thing is gonna fly in the air. This bucket was for... Carbide? 50 kilograms of carbide, they used it all. Can you imagine the number of explosions? Can I guess what bothers me, Anton? K-1. 
Kerosene is not a gas. Can it be lighted from a spark? What if it doesn't? We have watched too much films with kerosene catches fire from a cigarette, you know? And when the gas station blows up, yeah. Yes, good, good. Oh my, that is serious, guys. It is real jet fuel. In Indian conditions. It is gonna be like in Bollywood movies, you know? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. There we go. It is liquid oxygen. And kerosene. Let's go! Pour it! Holy moly! It is liquid! Let's go! The most dangerous moment. We should run as far as we can. Oh no, that is risky. Let's close our ears. What's up? Have you sunk the spark? That is just what you predicted. A balloon has fallen. I thought it was going to blow up. But for some reason the spark hasn't done it. I think that the fuse has sunk in kerosene. Because kerosene isolates. And it killed the spark. That stun gun is BS. So the spark sinks in oxygen or kerosene maybe. We can't light it up. So we're gonna use an old good method. We're going to fasten the fuse on this height and add a little bit of carbide. The acetylene gas will appear. And it will catch the fire from a spark. We've done it hundreds of times. And after this it's gonna light up oxygen and kerosene. In this way. He's gonna scare away the guys. Are they from the wrong cast or something? They're not allowed to watch the experiments. I just don't know, I can be mistaken. I hope this time it's gonna explode for good. And now we're gonna add some carbide to make it working. Okay, okay. Uh oh Let's go, run. We gotta go, guys. Let's get out of here. Oh no, something went wrong. So, first the carbide exploded and only then the oxygen, along with kerosene. That was a loud boom, bang. <laughs> In the slow mode we can see that carbide was lit first, and then it lit the kerosene. And when the barrel fell, it exploded. And the barrel flew right in the camera. <laughs> Double explosion. Oh my, but why? It hasn't heat up. The reaction was too fast. Oxygen made it. I know how to fix it. Actually, it was supposed to fly very high. So Indians have refused the electronic ignition. They're gonna use an ancient but reliable technology. They made him work. He has brought some bricks. He hasn't even finished cleaning his teeth. They made him working. So we're gonna lit it with a stick. Okay. Coming with liquid oxygen. Okay. Okay. That's it. Let's go. Run. He's gonna mix them now. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Good. Have you felt the wave? Imagine what did they feel. <laughs> Have you seen it stop? It was smashed. Look here. Whoa! <laughs> we are not going to stop on that, guys. 
We're going to balance this fuel so that it would burn well and launch a rocket to the stratosphere.